Six weeks the amount of time you usually like for a camp, or is this uh, abbreviated? Uh, no, I always do six weeks because I'm always in shape. I don't need like a grace period to get into shape. I start camp in shape. When you talk about the uh, Ultimate Fighter Funk, what are you referring to? Um, I think it's just afterward, our, our whole team, we were just really mistreated and we were really disrespected by uh, like the whole production staff and just everybody we were just constantly being instigated and manipulated manipulated to be to get the most dramatic response out of us as possible and I'm like dude we're dramatic enough you don't have to like really treat us like that and when I went to go do these movies it really put into perspective how terribly we were treated and um, <coughs> Like uh, just constantly just being poked and prodded like we weren't even people like it didn't just, just the constant like in, inhumane and insens insensitivity that they were treating us with you know and like these kids are fighting literally for their lives every day you know and we're treating it like the end of the world because it is the end of the world for these kids they deserve for us to treat this and to have it be just as important to us as it is to them and um, uh, we were just treated like like we were I don't know we, we were not treated like the respected athletes and coaches that we were brought on there to be and um, um, it, well all of us really left with a really sour taste in our mouths I mean the the gym is my safe place it's where I retain my sanity and they really bastardized that, that place for us <clears throat> and so um, when we got home it was just like I don't know um, I think everybody was just kind of anxious and depressed from it you know it, it warped the perception of you, right, to the public, and is that what you're saying? The, the, that was part of it? No, no, the experience to us. It wasn't the perception. I mean, I don't you don't think it, that there was like a, a different taste or a different view of Ron Rousey after you did all that filming? Um, yeah, they they um, they edited as they pleased. And you know they they needed a villain, and they they made me fill that role, and that's fine. I wasn't purposely going out of my way to make me seem flawlessly nice. I was purposely going out of my way to do everything possible to be the best possible coach that these kids could have. And um, you know, what? in hindsight, it was a shitty experience, and it came off terribly for me. But uh, if you think that the Ultimate Fighter was the best opportunity knocking on my door at that time, you're tripping. <laughs> really. I, it needed to be done for those girls. It needed to be done for the women's division. And, you know, for the, the guys there too, you know, they benefited from it. And uh, I'm invested in them lifelong. It's not just like a, a, a few week thing for me. For Misha, it was the best opportunity that came along at the time. And it was really important for her to come off as great as possible because, you know, she, that was her moment to do so. Whereas I turned to these kids and I'm like, look, I need to make sure that everybody sees this. I need to make sure that everybody loves you. I need to make sure you guys do as good as possible. And if it's a blow to me, I can take the blow. It doesn't matter to me. I can roll with this one. You know, but I need you guys, you know, to do well. And um, I'm still invested in their futures to this to this day. You know, I I, I brought uh, Wooten and Beal out to Bulgaria. Uh, Shayna and Jessamine have moved in with me. Davey came out. Um, to uh, to train with us for b before his fight um, and stay stay with me for a few weeks and um, you know like these kids are my kids for the long run and I would be I would be absolutely shocked if Misha even know knew where any of her kids were today. I was aware that I was walking into a reality TV show environment and that they were used to being manipulative and treating people a certain way, but I was surprised how how really bad it was. And the real, the real distinct favoritism that was shown towards the other team and not ours. Well, you debuted in such a specific, interesting way in the headlining fight that you had in February. It was, you know, red carpet treatment all the way. And the Ultimate Fighter, it's kind of the opposite, right? They're locked away. They're separate from their families. So you're probably pretty aware of that dynamic as well, right? I was aware of the dynamic of it. Yes. But you know, what? I don't think I think. The girls came off pretty good, though, don't you think? On your team, like I don't, I think the fighters came off pretty well, and that's all that really mattered. Yeah, yeah that's I really thought they did. Cares. Yeah, you know, everyone's everyone's memories as long as their Twitter timeline. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, if you really, really think about it, I mean, how long ago was that Robert Downey Jr. was completely blacklisted from Hollywood, and now right. he's number way number one paid actor? Yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, how long ago was it that Kim Kardashian had dicks in her mouth, and now she's selling my little sister's shoes? <laughs> you know, it's just. It's the, there's yeah. no, and, and, and it's actually, those, those
those examples are encouraging to me because there's, yeah, yeah, right. there's no permanent problems. Right. Well, you know, it's what do... it, what was needed most at the time for the girls, and I was happy to play that role. I was happy to be the bad guy, Dark Knight. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. You you mentioned I like that Batman reference. No, <laughs> I know. Yeah. No, yesterday you killed it with the Justice League stuff after <laughs> your whole thing about Thank White you. Anderson. No, it was good. It was like good. Power Rangers versus Justice League. Yeah, it's cute. Have you ever yeah. seen the uh, where they remix The Shining as romantic comedy? Someone <laughs> made a, sh a trailer yeah. online. <laughs> so it, it just goes to show how editing you can yeah, you, you can, can take it. like right. the scariest crap you know footage and turn into something opposite. So. Yeah. yeah, and so I didn't make best friends with the production by the time I left, and uh, they didn't do me any favors. Did you watch any of the episodes? Because uh -uh. you knew they tricked me into going to the premiere, <laughs> which I was not a fan of. What they tell you in order to get you to go? I just the second I got there, they were just like, "Oh, you have some press stuff today." And then I got there, and they're like, awesome. "It's a premiere yeah, it's a of the yeah. first episode." Yeah. Yeah. And I was just like, "Are you guys not done fucking punking me? God damn it!" <laughs> so ahead of time, did you make a you know make a decision that you weren't going to watch any footage or you weren't going to watch any of the episodes? I was there when it happened, time? and it sucked then. Why would I want to see the even shittier version that they came out with later? <laughs> Curiosity. <laughs> so, no more tough for you. <laughs> no. Who do you think? They, who do you think would be a good coaches for the all women's one? Um, well, you know what? Uh, who reached out to me was Liz Carmouche. Really yeah. wants to do it, she's, she's and awesome. uh, you know she's such a cool chick, and uh, I can't not support her if it's something that she really wants to do. So she's got 100% of my support. If she wants it. Well, if but they might choose men coaches. That's true, and yeah. I think that would actually be really interesting and hilarious to see the guys get like really frustrated having to deal with the chick being like, "I want to train today, I have cramps," you know, like and just seeing that reaction. So uh, yeah, that would also be very interesting yeah. in itself too, and to see like, you know, how uh, how men their their the male coaches how their minds would be changed about the women by the right. end of it, you know, because um, the one fifteen pound girls, man, they're they're a bunch of badasses totally. and they're they're bound to impress anybody yeah. that comes along and so uh, that'd be a very interesting angle as well. Okay.